What's up, everybody? LUI here. I salute you, whatever you are. Uh, George Farah, uh, namely the Pro Maker, just posted this uh, comparison pictures merely as you guys can see 24 minutes ago. So, pretty much, he says the green trunk of Big Grammy, of course, this one is 2015, where the, uh, the black actually is pretty much last year. The story always told from the back, which is true. They say the back makes you or breaks you. And that is true pretty much since 1983 when a certain other Lebanese guy, just like George, uh, that guy was uh, Samir Banut. He had this tremendous back. It has been followed by Lee Haney, Dorian Yates, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, and uh, right now Phil Heath. All these guys have tremendous backs. So I want all the experts out there, experts with an S, Mr. George, to give their honest opinion. Both photos are taken from official development, muscular development magazine. Check for yourself. All right, so first of all, um, right here in 2014, the legs, the hamstrings uh, and the glutes were not up to part when it comes to conditioning. That is absolutely true. But to be noted, uh, he was injured. He was all bluish and that has been uh, mentioned by uh, Dennis James. I think he injured himself pretty much like eight weeks out so he was not able to do to train them efficiently nor to do some some cardio however is there some progress is there's absolutely some progress of course i've been in touch with uh, some people quite close to to big rammy and i do know for a fact he gained even in ramadan when he was fasting pretty much for like 16 hours a day it goes to show i told them at the end even though like big rammy was a little bit disappointed by this shape even though he progressed significantly but he was disappointed because he's the biggest guy on stage and, and by far, right? But I didn't like his color. I think the team also did not like, like his color. It looked too dark in a sense. This one was definitely better, right? More goldish. I mean, uh, what progressed here is, as I told you here, those muscles actually, in French we call them uh, rhomboid. I forget the name in English. But uh, it, it is just below, actually, uh, the deltoid and above uh, the lat. It just got bigger. Just got bigger and larger. You can definitely clearly uh, see that. This year, the glutes are definitely uh, more uh, defined. And, of course, the hamstring, a little bit more uh, definition uh, than uh, last year. The thing with Big, uh, Big Remy is this, man. I know uh, the way he, uh, he's being trained. By the way, he's not trained uh, by George Farah. George Farah is the guru. But uh, the guy who takes care of his trainer, his name is Ahmed Al-Naki, right? Is a 37-year-old uh, from Oxygen Gym in Kuwait. He takes care of his training, and he's doing it uh, quite well. I was quite satisfied with that. Uh, Big Ramy, uh, his, his, uh, his take-home phrase, in a sense, should be and must be, uh, patience really patience that's one because we cannot dismiss the fact that he's training since six years that's six years for real this is real life i mean true story true story that's the first point the second point is that he is a special case he is an uncharted territory i mean how can you tackle him who would you compare him to right Personally, I don't know of a guy training six years being this big. So all the methods that even gurus try to come up with, it is trial and error, right? This guy, on paper, on record, you can ask Dennis James, who trained him for a while. He has put him for on a, a macro count of 120 uh, grams of carbs a day. I repeat. 120 grams of carbs a day he was still growing right it's just nonsensical even for a small guy a 212 pound guy usually suffers and shrinks at uh, 120 grams but this guy just grows right i mean that's try they try to speculate and even dennis james tried to speculate and guess that it is probably a myostatin deficiency you know what I agree. I agree. In that sense, it's just you cannot reproduce Big Ramy. Train like him, eat like him, uh, take the bodybuilders, helpers like him, you won't grow like him. You just won't. Right? 
He does not, he's not taking a magical pill. It's just an exception. These guys are very rare. But to pinpoint the way you prepare him for conditioning, you just need to find his number. And it takes time. It takes trial and error. Right? Uh, the, the, the big guys you can compare them to are probably Big Ron. Dorian Yates, in a sense, but his training is completely different from that of Dorian, right? So that's the difference uh, right there. Dorian was uh, pro probably one of the most shredded big guys out there. Crazy, crazy, paper thin skin, right? So that's that. However, the muscle maturity, the only remedy and solution to it is patience, no other way. I mean, that is absolutely progress. So if, if he posted this picture, it's not uh, just like that, right? I didn't like his color, George. George, the color, we have to agree. It's just not there. Uh, the prep is definitely better. He has less wrinkles in, in the back. It's definitely uh, more massive in a sense. The condition downstairs is definitely uh, way better. First time I see some details in these uh, glutes, right? But Big Ramy needs time and not uh, rush it, right? That's it. I do acknowledge the fact that he is really passionate about it, but uh, you know, it will come with time. I was forecasting, you know, a few months ago, I was forecasting that this guy will reach his cruising speed in about uh, more or less two years. More or less two years, we'll see like the best of him tr uh, starting to basically bloom, right? We need to be realistic. Even you guys, uh, whatever you are, if you've been training since six years, development you're still seeing it i was still gaining after six years i was still molding my body right and, and that's the way it is and he's being molded progress is there i was quite satisfied with him he was a little bit not a little bit but admittedly bloated in the pre-judging he fixed it uh, the day after hell in the pre-judging he was not able to hold the side triceps that has been fixed though uh, we will see how it goes uh, his number has to be cracked. As soon as he cracks that, he cracks that, uh, he will get that shredded look. However, at this precise moment, shredded or not, he cannot have the glutes uh, that we saw on a body on a frame of Ronnie Coleman that is not being shredded, that is being shredded and having a muscle maturity. And to have that, there is absolutely no remedy. You cannot fasten the process. You need to be patient uh, and wait up for that that look, that, that that special maturity to finally grow. So this is my answer to you, Mr. George. God bless you all. I know that uh, George received a lot of criticism because of this, but hey, I mean, you've got to be honest. He was able to, I mean, the, the, the number two guy was under his belt namely Dexter Jackson, right? So this guy knows a thing or two about this business. That's it, guys. Salute you wherever you are. God bless you all. And finally, finally, I got to say this since, uh, well, we're talking about gurus here. That was a dude who trained Big Grammy for three months prior to George Farah. His name is uh, Chris Asito. As a matter of fact, I don't think he likes George Farah that much. But he trained him uh, for about three months and two days ago, he was with Palombo uh, doing the uh, pre-judging wrap-up on the strip. And he said, I would have brought Big Ramy around 278. I highly disagree with that. With all the respect, I mean, Chris Asiro is one of the best uh, gurus out there. He's all in the business. I've grown up reading articles. Probably he was making these articles uh, probably in Muscle and Fitness back in the day in the 90s or Flex Magazine. But this guy's no knows his stuff, and he is the ex-trainer of Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler, so he's not a nobody. But I would, uh, respectfully, I greatly disagree with the fact that Big Grammy should be uh, should become a 278. Tell me 290s, high 290s, I would agree. I want to listen about 278 with all due respect. Big Grammy is the phenomenon. He cannot saturate at that low weight. Do not compare him uh, please to Jay Cutler. He is a step above Jay Cutler when it comes to, to mass. Yes, uh, probably the biggest version of Jay was around 274. Big Grammy is something else, right? So that's it. That's my opinion. Salute you wherever you are. God bless you all. Tell me what you guys think about it.